I think we got a show. Oh yeah, we got a show. W T L. And welcome back, everybody, to W T L. Where's the line? I'm your host, Andy Class, and joined by Gibran. Oh, no, the par <laughs> lay pounder. You're right. We're back. We're back. One more week. The NFL blessed us. Yeah. With one more week. Week 18. The blessed week 18. <laughs> Everybody's fantasy hopes are done or accomplished. Yeah. Everybody's just kind of sitting back and watching this one for fun. Couple playoff implications on the line this week. Obviously, couple big games, but this is really buyer beware week. If exactly. You, if you ask me, who's playing? Who's not playing? Yep. Who's sitting? Who has something to play for? Yeah, exactly. What records are on the line? Kind of, kind of yeah, week. Yeah. The, so you talk about fantasy there, real quick. Yeah. You do have some player, you know, player games. Yeah. You, you know, and those those are going to be loaded. Yeah, uh, exactly. You yeah. got. You got plenty of guys. You touched on one last week with Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, exactly. And it it doesn't stop for Patrick Mahomes. You know, he he had the big game like we thought last yep. week. Yeah. But now he put himself into a different realm where he can actually reach the NFL season record oh for passing God. yards if he has four hundred and twenty nine, which is He's done it. A lot, but he's had 500 before. Is that Dan Fouts, Dan Marino? I have no idea who it's it gotta is. Be one it's got to be one of those It's got to be one of the Dan's. <laughs> oh, well, let's just stay right there. Let's, yeah. let's go to Kansas City, take okay. it on the Las Vegas Raiders. Um, the, the Raiders threw us a curveball last week. They did. We caught it right before we went on. Uh, we got the word that... Uh, car was out. Car yep. got put on the shelf. Um, but his backup Stenham did pretty good. Yeah, it, it was just, I think really the game good. plan was just look at Devontae Adams. Uh, he's probably the best yeah. receiver in the game, one of them definitely, and they did a very good job of targeting him and, uh, you know, sticking in that game, playing against probably the best team in the NFC right now, the San Francisco 49ers, yeah. and losing to him by a field goal. So he did well. They did well. His passer rating was through the roof. I think, uh, I think that surprised everybody, especially the 49ers. 49ers. So, okay, we got a minus nine and a half. Yeah. So Kansas City's a huge favorite here. Nine sure. and a half points. Um, uh, just kind of a wacky number over under at 52 and a half and you got a heavy sway here with with betters too 70 percent of them smart money dumb money my money your money everybody's betting the over 70 percent of it going in on that over do you want to start with that or do you want to try and break down that spread yeah well i i kind of like the spread right now for the raiders yeah just because i think the the chiefs are going to kind of get up in this one i don't think yeah. it's you know factual accurate to say patrick holmes is going to go for 429 mm-hmm. i think they're going to get up on him and just yeah. kind of say okay we're in the playoffs yeah. where we are the pride we think we're the best team in the afc and let the chiefs chips fall where they may worth with everything else defeating the raiders isn't a too tough of a task for the kansas city chiefs <laughs> that's crazy the say. kansas city chiefs have bested the las vegas in 16 of the last 19 collisions yeah. i just don't yeah. think this is an actual game for the Chiefs, which might mean that they kind of, you know, take the foot off the gas a little bit, but they have a week's worth of film on Stidham. I think it's yeah. going to be fine for them. I, yeah. If I had to lean away, it would be the Raiders covering the nine and a half. Uh, uh, Chiefs winning this by a field goal or touchdown. That's exactly where I would lean as well. I'm thinking Kansas City is going to take control, take control early, yeah. and they're going to put them in a uh, tough spot where he's going to have to pass the ball. And when that happens, when an offense is one-dimensional, the Chiefs' defense, they aren't that bad. No, they're not. But I also agree, the Raiders, with all that being said, I think the Raiders are going to cover here. You hate this. You hate to bet on the Raiders. Yeah. But but uh, just look at this recently. I'm going to think in the last five games, Kansas City's only covered once. Yeah. In their last five games. Now, that's not all their fault. You know, they, they're such a prolific offense. They get bet up. Yeah. You know, and they don't they always get up. Yeah, they, so they don't always, but they win. And they don't always start they fast. They end fast, all that kind of stuff. I see a lot of people going in on the over. I just don't, yeah. I, I don't feel great betting that this I week. Just, nope. I know that the Kansas City, one of the best offenses. I don't know how many times we can be, beat a dead horse with that. But I just don't. I just don't feel safe betting, betting it. If I had to lean, it'd be towards the under. Since I think they're going to get up early and just kind of run out the clock. The whole reason they don't cover is because they don't put the pedal to the metal. They don't have to. They don't have to. 
And, and if a team ties, tries to test them, Mahomes is like, oh, that's what you want to. That's what you want to do here. Yeah, that's what. Oh, if you okay. want to play me, we'll uh, play. We can we can go ahead and do that. Yeah. So. If Jared Sim comes out and keeps throwing the ball down the field and <laughs> they get touchdowns, <laughs> Mahomes will be more than happy to you know go after that four hundred yards. But I just don't see it happening. Yeah. And I said it in the in the opening there. Um, <clears throat> betters beware. Yeah. Like there's so many different ways that this one could go. I mean, I wouldn't even be surprised if uh, Andy Reid's like one series, guys. Yep. Kelsey, you get one series. Mahomes, you get one series. Like, none of it would surprise me. Trying to win a Super Bowl here. We're not trying yeah. to beat the Las Vegas yeah. Raiders in Vegas. And I think everyone's cool with that. Even with the all time passing record, you know, on the line and, and it's within reach. If they push them, they'll yeah. probably do it. It's just if they if it's know. if they get up early, all that kind of stuff, he'll pull them. We're trying yep. to win a Super Bowl. We're not trying to beat the Raiders. All right, so let's move on to another kind of a wonky game here. I think this is going to be a really good game. This could be one of the best matchups of the weekend. We're talking about the Tennessee Titans taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Tennessee traveling down to Jacksonville at TIAA Bank Field. What a ring to that one. That's yeah. A, that just that rolls right rolls off, off your tongue. tongue yeah. So we have uh, Jacksonville, a six point favorite, kind of a key number there, over under sitting at 40. Jabron, where are you at? I like the Jaguars. Boo. I, I like. Uh-huh. The momentum. I don't like this uh-huh. narrative that Tennessee has, you know, been keeping players out for this last game of the year kind of thing, yeah, yeah. which uh-huh. I know that you're yeah, going to allude yeah, okay. to here in a little yeah, bit. Yeah. But no, I like the Jaguars. I want to keep my eye on Trevor Lawrence's health. Uh-huh. I know that he has a band aid by his name right now, but I think he's going to play. <laughs> and if he does, Jacksonville wins this one. I'm taking. I'm taking the spread too. Sunshine has a boo boo. He does. A little boo boo. There's, Not enough of a boo boo to lose to the Titans. <laughs> Jacksonville wins by six. No, so you you don't like facts. Is that what you told me? I, is that, I like facts. Oh, no, uh huh, uh huh. Well, then you would like Tennessee Titans here and what they've been able to do the last two or three weeks, um, playing their schedule, playing the system. <laughs> last week's game didn't matter at all. They could have won that and they'd be in the same position they are now. Yeah, except they didn't and they've they lost did not. five straight. That, and the Jacksonville yeah. Jaguars have won four straight. So uh, yeah, okay. that's a fact. They're going to win again. It's a fact. Yeah. Jacksonville takes home the AFC South crown. Well, here, here's another fact for you, yeah. Mr. Parlay Pounder. The <laughs> Titans are 7-1 and one ATS, the last eight. Yeah. Okay. Jacksonville is sitting at 8-8. Eight and eight. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh I think I like the team. That's Jacksonville has been on a different mode the last back half of the year. Everybody wrote this team off early in the year as not being a playoff team. Now they are in the driver's seat to win this division. Driver's they're on. Seat. They're on they're fire. Eight and eight. They're on fire. Four out of the last five, beating very good teams. Straight up. Yes. I'm, yes. What? Well, I'm not talking straight up. I'm talking a betting line. Well, I there. already got you there. I, Jaguars are going to cover this what? team. This, this Titans is team is terrible. Points. This ter- Titans team is terrible. They can't score. They can't defend. It's over. <laughs> Jacksonville's got it. Actually, Smart money's with me. Yeah, t- Tennessee is actually zero and five and one in their last six games. If we're just talking ATS, so you even have me on that. <laughs> but I, I, I do. I'm putting a lot of weight into that narrative that Tennessee is just trying to play the system, okay. much like. Uh, their head coach learned at his days, his playing days, with the Patriots. Um, and I think it's all been gearing up for this moment. Jacksonville on the other side, uh, I think they are a little banged up. I think they've kind of strung themselves out. They've been playing great, but, you know, there, there's a price to be paid if, if you're going to do that. Yeah. So I think we're at a, a split there. We're on a split. So I'm taking Tennessee. Yeah, I'm taking those six points. There put them go. in the back pocket. What about that 40? Because I think that is right on the nose. It is right on the nose. I got Jacksonville winning this 24 to 17, which would put mm-hmm. it at 41. There you go. There you go. Uh, I guess if I had to do something, it would lean towards the over, but I'm not betting that. I am just taking that Jacksonville wow. by six. Let me look at the latest here because <laughs> it this just feels like a freaking under bet to me because I everything yeah. you said about Tennessee, you're right. They are garbage. The, okay. The, the total has hit the under in five of Tennessee's last seven road games. The total has hit the over in four of Jacksonville's last six games yep. against Tennessee. So, like we said, it's split right down the middle. I don't yep. know if there's a better way on this. Right. I just think that if I was doing something, 
Probably be the over by It'd half point. be the over by half point yep. just because I think Trevor Lawrence can get those three touchdowns plus a field goal, and I do believe that King Henry probably does have a day. And Jacksonville, and just their straight up, they're over the last six games, they've hit the over yep. uh, last four times. So if I had a lean, I think I'd agree with you. So, you know, we agree, we disagree, we can get along. <laughs> we can get along. All right. You know, not all NFL talk show hosts do that nowadays, I guess. <laughs> they do not. <laughs> little jab there. Yep. All right. Let's move on to uh, another kind of a curious game there here. I'm not exactly sure how everyone's feeling about it, but uh, let's talk about it. New England Patriots heading on up to Buffalo to take on the Buffalo Bills. Yeah. Bills are over a touchdown favorite, minus 7.5. I think the line's correct, Andy, on this just because of the talent that the Buffalo Bills put yeah. on the field. We yep. say it week in, week out. You know, you got Josh Allen. He's, you know, he's still kind of in that MVP. I think Mahomes kind of has it wrapped up right now. Yeah. Uh, but I, I think that with all the emotions carrying over from the last game, I yeah. think they come in here with the pedal to the metal. On the other They're hand, the fire. Patriots need to win to have a chance at the playoffs. Yep. I still don't think that they're going to have enough to keep up with this Bills yeah. way of scoring. The only way that they do is they keep the Bills scoring to a minimum, and Mac Jones has the game of his life. I don't see all that coming true. Boy, that's a couple of tough asks right there. Yes, it is. Yeah. Do I believe Buffalo Bills cover? Yes. You know what? This is – I don't know if I've ever said on our show <laughs> this season, anyway, yeah. uh, agreeing with an NFL team over a touchdown yeah. favorite. Yeah. But there are too many things here that tell me Buffalo is going to do this. Yeah, it is their time. It is their team. And then you throw kind of an emotional yeah, fastball, for sure, if you will, in there. You know, thoughts and prayers uh, with Hamlin's family. Uh, what a horrific event! And, it was. Uh, you know, everybody's everybody's feels that way. And you know, both of us we're former players. We're all washed up football yeah, guys, for sure. You know, and I mean, even the sports bar that I was in. Uh, we are on a big double date, Buffalo fans, Cincinnati fans everywhere. Yeah. Um, it was just silent. It was. I mean, it, not just in that stadium, but... Across the country. Yeah. So, uh, with that being said, you know, we're moving forward here. Yeah. We're talking about the, the matter at hand here, and I think, this, like I said, this is Buffalo's time, and how many years has New England just really taken it to Buffalo? Yeah. And now Buffalo has the upper hand. Flip the, the script. Yep, flip the script. McDermott's going to do it to Belichick. I think so, too. I think Belichick can go fishing the rest of the year. I think Buffalo has been gearing up for this one for a long time. What I about hope that, so. What about that over under 42 and a half? Yeah. Uh, now, I want to throw this out there. Yeah. A hundred. A hundred percent. Just like the emoji. <laughs> yeah. A hundred percent is in on that over. Yeah. I, I don't like it. I really don't. <laughs> what? I, I like the under. You're an over guy. I am an over guy, but <laughs> if I had to lean towards this, I really think the Patriots get out early and hold them at bay. I, ju- I just oh. I don't think the Patriots are going to be able to score that much in this game. I think the Patriots score maybe 14, and you know the Patriots kind of let off the gas at um, you know 21. Jabron, Jabron, you're using your head on this one. I yeah, like this. Uh, hey, there we go. I got it. So, no, if I had to lean, I'd go towards the under, but I'll probably sidestep it and just yeah. take the Bills. At yeah. a minus seven. There's so many variables in this one. This would probably be a a, a total to maybe side think yeah. about sidestepping here. Um so uh I kinda like everything you said right there. Perfect. Hey, look at that. <laughs> and on a good note. Do you have a parlay play for yeah, the people? I do have a parlay. Let's do it. It's a three teamer. Uh it's probably a couple bets that we're gonna talk about here, you know, during the podcast a little bit. It's, uh Green Bay Packers minus four and a half. Uh, over the Detroit Lions, I think Rodgers has it going on. Okay. I got the Los Angeles Chargers winning, uh, beating the Denver Broncos straight up at a plus 115 bet. And then I have the under in the Baltimore Ravens Cincinnati Bengals game at 41 and a half. Put those all together, 25 bucks to win 170. Woo! You can't beat that. You can't beat that. And it sounds like a, like a lock to me. I think it's a lock. I, I mean, think these are all God. really, really good, uh, really yeah. good bets to put together. So, yes, that is my parlay for the week. Sounds good to me. Hey, before we let everybody go, let's take a minute to recognize one of our fabulous partners, and that is the Nebraska Brewing Company. World class in every glass. A little bit of a tongue twister there for their uh, tagline, but <laughs> yes. we can do it. We're professionals. Yeah, we got that every every week. <laughs> Don't go anywhere, folks. This is WTL. WTL.